would meet again back up at Helen's Donuts, of course. So, I have to say, the reason for this, a lot of the reason for this was because we were pranksters. And our, our God at that time in our lives was the great man on television named David Letterman. We watched him every night that he was on. And one of the things that David Letterman did was he would videotape himself throwing things off the top of the building that he shot his show in in New York. And we were like, well... My folks' house was two blocks from Butte Hall. And Butte Hall, you might know, is about the tallest building in Chico. Close, it's the second tallest. It has, on top of that, a seven-story outdoor staircase on the outside of the building that you do not need to enter the building to go up. And on each floor, there's a balcony wide open. Since our childhood, they have sealed up this entrance. But we're talking mid-80s here, and we started with fruit. And we did melons, like David Letterman. But we were like, what could we throw off that would be more exciting, more explosive than a, than a big watermelon or a cantaloupe? And we were like, a giant can of soup would look cool. We would always do these, these experiments at, at dawn because it was light out, but there wasn't anybody around. And usually there'd be a few people up at the top of the seventh floor throwing over the balcony, and then the rest of everybody else in the camera down below videotaping. After the can of soup, we decided on a bowling ball. No. Yeah, seven floors, bowling ball, all the way down. Not very exciting. The pavement was unscathed and the bowling ball just had a crack in it. What about something bigger? My brother and I had a couch we had stolen from a fraternity house in our bedroom. Four people carried it up seven flights and threw it off the seventh floor of Butte Hall. Surprisingly, no explosion. It just came down, kind of landed on the pavement. A few cushions fell down. It didn't even break. What could you throw off really big and heavy that would make a giant explosion? Well, of course we could throw off the Lunar Lander. What is the Lunar Lander, you might ask? The Lunar Lander was an arcade game. It was the first arcade game ever made. This is before Space Invaders or Asteroids. This was a game where you simply landed a little ship on the moon. There were no aliens, there were no guns. It was like you just landed a ship on the moon, and you had to be really good at it or you'd crash. Super boring, nobody played Lunar Lander after the first month that it came out. It was for sale at Togo's Eatery downtown for $40. Not making a lot of money for Togo's. My friends and I got together, we got some skateboards, we got $40. We bought it and took it home and put it in my brother and I's bedroom. Because who doesn't want to have an arcade game in their bedroom? We all got really good at Lunar Lander. <laughs> I mean, we got really good. Still the most boring game of all time, however. Definitely something we could throw off the top of New Hall. We, were, we weighed about 550 pounds. It had one of those giant video monitors in it. We got it over on the skateboards. We went up each flight and checked to see if there were any open doors. There was. We went in, took the elevator down, came out the front wheeled it into the elevator, brought it up to the seventh floor, wheeled it out, got it next to the balcony, right as, I'm, I'm one of the people up at the top there, right as we're about to shove it over, we hear from down below, Cut! All eight of us take off, right? We're running north, south, east, west, we're running all over campus. We all, about five minutes, 10 minutes later, meet up at Helen's Donuts, <laughs> except Casey's not there. <laughs> Only seven of us were there. Oh, no. What happened to Casey? 
We waited and waited. He didn't show up. We knew it was going to be the worst thing ever. Casey had been caught by the campus cops. <laughs> Bad thing. We thought, okay, we got to go back to my parents' house. We got to wake up my dad. It's about 7 a.m. on a Sunday. My dad's a criminal lawyer. We know what to do. We walked back to my folks' house, two blocks away from Butte Hall. We get there, we open the front door, all seven of us walk in, and we see my mom and dad and Casey sitting in the living room. I'm like, Casey, what happened? Casey goes, I didn't know what to do. He was right behind me. And so I just ran and ran, and I just ran right into your parents' house. And he followed me into your parents' house. And so I just ran through the house, and I ran into your parents' bedroom. And he followed me into your parents' bedroom. And your parents were naked, and they jumped out of bed. And I was standing there with the police officer. And your dad said to the police officer, to the campus cop, what are you doing here? And the campus cop said, I'm chasing that kid. And your dad said, what did he do? And the campus cop said, I don't know. And my dad said, have you got a search warrant? And the campus cop said, no, I don't. And my dad said, get the fuck out of my house! Poor guy. Oh my God. Not the best day to be a campus cop. <laughs> the only thing I want to add is that we heard a rumor later oh. that many of the campus police had become extremely good at Lunar Lander. <laughs> and it, it, it ended up in, the, in their break room. 